In this session, let us understand how typical break-even analysis will be carried at bank. Okay, so this is case one. You are given a sample company which has installed capacity to produce product A 30,000 and product B 15,000 and so total it is 45,000. Even though they have capacity of 30,000, actual production is only 24,000. Here it is only 13,500, so total is 37,500. That is the capacity utilization. So it is basically linked like this, 80%, 90%. Let's not mind about this figure. And you are also given the sales. It is 4,500, figures are in lakhs, 500, and total is 5,000 lakhs. Okay, right. Now, you are also given variable expenses. You are also given variable expenses. Variable expenses are those expenses which tend to vary as per production. Okay, they vary in proportion to the changes in production. So raw material generally it is 100% variable. Packing materials, there can be something fixed, something variable. No, packing is linked with your production and sales and all. So we can say this is variable. Consumable stores, spares, variable, power, water, fuel. In power and all, there is uh, a possibility for semi-fixed expenses because something will be fixed and something will be variable. Okay, So let's assume that only the variable portion were captured here and semi-fixed are taken under fixed expenses. Repairs and maintenance distribution expenses, interest on working capital and other short term borrowings. So all variable costs were captured here and it is 2400. What is the sales? It is 5000. So from sales, if you deduct variable cost, what you get is contribution and contribution only is going to help you to find, recover your fixed cost. So from A sales, if you deduct B variable expenses, you get C contribution, which is 2600. Now from this contribution C, if you deduct fixed cost, you are going to get your operating profit. Okay. So from this contribution C, let us deduct uh, fixed expenses. So we have various fixed expenses like wages and salaries, other factory overheads, depreciation, sales expense, interest on debenture, term loan, admin expense, royalty. When you deduct all this, you are going to get your operating profit. Now it's time to compute what is break-even sales. Right. See, at break-even sales, what happens at break-even sales, your contribution will be equal to fixed cost. Your contribution will be equal to fixed cost. But now you, you don't have exactly the break-even sales. Okay. Why it is not break-even sales? Because you are making profit. At break-even sales, you cannot make profit. There will be no profit, no loss. Okay. So your sales of 5,000 is giving you a contribution of how much? 2,600. And when your contribution is 2,600, you have a fixed cost of 2,450. It means your contribution is greater than fixed cost. That's why you are making a profit of 150. We want to reach a stage where profit will be zero because that is your break-even sales. It means from 2600 when you directed 2450, you had con you had profit as 150, but now you want profit to be zero. Your fixed cost will not undergo a change. It will be 2450 only. It means you want your contribution also to be 2450. So now the question is. What level of sales will give contribution of 2450? How to find out that? It's simple. When your contribution is 2600, okay, when your contribution is 2600, what is your fixed cost? It is 2450, right? Which level of sales gave contribution of 2600? It is the sales of 5000. So 5000 is giving contribution of 2600 and fixed cost is 2450. So now I am going to create a relationship between these two. If 
5000 is creating contribution of 2600 what level of sales will give contribution of 2450 so what is this 2450 this is nothing but the fixed cost correct so now we can do a simple cross multiplication this 2450 which is the fixed cost multiplied by sales divided by contribution will give you the sales amount okay so we can make it as a formula break even sales is nothing but fixed cost into sales divided by contribution let me bring that here look at this break even sales how it is calculated we are bringing that fixed and semi fixed expenses 2450 we are bringing that contribution 2600 bringing net sales of 5000 okay so 5000 gives contribution of 2600 how much sale will give contribution of 2450 okay so that's what you see here break even sales is a into c divided by b what is a fixed and semi fixed expenses okay this is a into not b sorry c a into c what is c this is net sales so here you have c net sales a multiplied by c divided by b what is b contribution so this is b contribution so 2450 into 5000 divided by 2600 gives you 4711.54 this is the break even sale what is their actual sale actual sale is 5000 what is a break even sale 4711.54 so it is only the remaining sales that are driving profit for the business and it would say highly or we say we can say this business has highest risk why because they have to work so hard to achieve break even because if you express this in percentage 4711.54 divided by 5000 it works out to 94 percent so only at the 94th percentage they are able to recover all their cost and only the remaining six percentage of the sales is going to bring profit for them and this business is highly vulnerable just imagine there is going to be a small drop in sales let's say sales drop by five percent or ten percent then this business will start reporting loss why because they have to make a sales of 4711 to break even to cover all their cost and if the sales is going to drop by 10 percent if 5000 is going to get reduced to 4500 then it's a clear case of loss right because they need a minimum 4711.54 it means clearly it's going to be 211.54 lakhs loss they have to report okay so that's the importance of break even sales thank you for watching this video hope you liked it if you wish to learn more on this topic do check our comprehensive online course i have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon